Hello guys, uh, in this video tutorial I would like to explain uh, the method of movement estimation for Poisson probability distribution. Uh, this is the lecture 2 of the series of movement method of estimation. Uh, we have uh, the first lecture about the general procedure of method of movement estimation. So let's proceed to the lecture that how we can estimate the unknown parameter of the Poisson distribution using the method of movements. Uh, okay, let's see the statement of the problem. Uh, suppose that x1, x2 up to xn. So this is xn. Uh, is a random sample from Poisson probability distribution with unknown parameter theta. Uh, this can be lambda, this can be any other parameter. So estimate the parameter of this distribution by using the method of moments. So this means that we need we need to use the method of moment to estimate the unknown parameter of the Poisson probability distribution. You know that we need to calculate the first uh, because there is a single parameter we need to calculate the first population raw moment and the first sample raw moment and then we need to compare these two moment and to solve for the unknown parameter theta. Okay, so this is the distribution function. You can write this like this because this is a discrete case. So you can write this uh, f of x theta like probability of x equal to x into theta instead of this. So this is equal to e power minus theta theta power x divided by x factorial. This is the distribution function or more precisely you can say this is the probability mass function because this is a discrete random variable. Uh, where theta is the unknown parameter and x is the random variable with take values 0, 1, 2 and so on and e is equal to 2.71828 so now let's move to a solution that how we can solve the, uh, the, the we can estimate the parameter of Poisson probability solution by using the method of moment uh, as we know that from the previous lecture that we need to solve this equation where m mu one prime is the first population raw moment and m one prime is the first sample raw moment where uh, mu one prime is equal to e of x which is the expected value of the random variable and m one prime is equal to one divided by n summation x i which is equal to x bar for this thing you need to see my first lecture in the method of moment estimation where i explain all these things in detail now uh, as this is given m1 prime is equal to x bar we need to calculate e of x to solve this equation so let's find mu1 prime which is equal to e of x and e of x expected value of x in the case of poisson distribution is like this uh, x prime 0 to and so on and x and then the probability mass function and the next step you can put the probability mass function which is e power minus theta theta power x divided by x factorial now and the next step we can expand this x factorial like this x factorial is equal to x into x minus 1 factorial and you can expand this further if you want if you need x factorial is equal to x x minus 1 into x minus 2 factorial as well if you need this we need only the above one x into x minus 1 factorial so we need to expand this x e power minus theta theta power x divided by x and to x minus 1 factorial so you can write this in this way then you can cancel x and you can see that now in this step the limits of the x start from 1 because it does not make a sense if we can start if we can start from 1 here so the limits is now from x equal to 1 and e power minus theta theta power x divided by x minus 1 factorial now let's let's have some substitution suppose y y equal to x minus 1 and this mean that x is equal to y plus 1 and remember that when x start from 1 you can see here in this equation y is equal to x minus 1 when x start from 1 y start from 0 so let's do the substitution the limit will start from y equal to 0 e power minus theta and theta power y plus 1 x is equal to y plus 1 so theta power y plus 1 divided by y factorial now you can see that uh, this is 
uh, y power uh, theta power y plus 1 so we can write theta power 1 uh, outside of the summation and then we can write summation y from 0 e power minus theta theta power y and divided by y factorial so you can see that this in this uh, in this line this is the probability mass function of the Poisson distribution you can set the limits you can see the uh, e power minus theta theta power y divided by y factorial and remember that a probability mass function or a probability distribution uh, has two properties one is that the probability at each point should be greater than or equal to zero and the other point is the sum of the total probability will equal to one and this is in discrete case and in a continuous case we can see the integration and the full limit of the distribution that dis density function or distribution will equal to one so this is equal to one and this is theta so uh, of course you can write this like this so mu one prime is equal to theta now you already have m1 prime that is equal to x bar and now you have mu1 prime so mu1 prime is equal to theta already you have m1 prime equal to x bar you just compare these two so mu1 prime is equal to theta and m1 prime is equal to x bar so theta with this notation is equal to x bar as the mme for theta so in case of poisson distribution with sample uh, from 1 to up to n if we have n sample size then this x bar is this method of moment estimate for the parameter theta in case of Poisson distribution.